What stage in the AI development life cycle focuses primarily on ensuring the AI system aligns with ethical guidelines and regulations to avoid scope creep? A. Model design and development B. Problem definition and scoping C. Training and validation D. Deployment. Correct answer. B. Problem definition and scoping. During which phase of the AI development life cycle is evaluating the potential for bias in model design particularly crucial? A. Data collection and management B. Model design and development C. Deployment D. Monitoring and maintenance. Correct answer. B. Model design and development. Which of the following best describes the objective of the data collection and management phase in the AI development life cycle? A. Integrate the AI model into production environments B. Gather and manage data required for training the AI model C. Continuously monitor the AI system's performance D. Train the AI model on collected data. Correct answer. B. Gather and manage data required for training the AI model. In the context of the AI development life cycle, what is the primary risk management strategy during the training and validation phase? A. Ensuring data privacy and compliance with data protection regulations B. Monitoring for and mitigating potential harms or biases C. Implementing strategies to mitigate overfitting and underfitting D. Establishing mechanisms for feedback and redress. Correct answer. C. Implementing strategies to mitigate overfitting and underfitting. A team is in the deployment phase of their AI project. What should be their main focus to manage risks effectively? A. Ensuring clarity in the problem definition B. Addressing biases in data collection C. Monitoring for and mitigating potential harms or biases that emerge. Evaluating the potential for bias in model design. Correct answer. C. Monitoring for and mitigating potential harms or biases that emerge. An AI system designed to provide loan approval recommendations starts to show a higher rejection rate for applications from certain demographic groups. Which phase of the AI development life cycle should primarily address this issue? A. Data collection and management. B. Training and validation. C. Monitoring and maintenance. D. Retirement. Correct answer. C. Monitoring and maintenance. What is the primary objective of the retirement phase in the AI development life cycle? A. Decide when an AI system is to be retired. B. Integrate the AI model into production environments. C. Gather and manage data required for training. D. Evaluate the AI model's performance against real-world criteria. Correct answer. A. Decide when an AI system is to be retired. After deployment, an AI system used for facial recognition starts to experience a decline in accuracy due to changes in environmental conditions and user behaviors. What risk management strategy is most applicable? A. Ensuring data privacy and compliance. B. Implementing robust monitoring frameworks and conducting regular updates. C. Evaluating the potential for bias in model design. D. Setting clear, achievable objectives for the AI system. Correct answer. B. Implementing robust monitoring frameworks and conducting regular updates. Which phase involves stakeholders from various backgrounds to set clear, achievable objectives for the AI system? A. Problem definition and scoping. B. Deployment. C. Continuous monitoring and maintenance. D. Retirement. Correct answer. A. Problem definition and scoping. During the model development phase, what is a key risk management focus? A. Ensuring the AI model is adaptable and scalable. B. Prioritizing transparency and explainability in model design. C. Conducting pilot tests. D. Gathering and managing data. Correct answer. B. Prioritizing transparency and explainability in model design. Which strategy is most effective for addressing biases during the data collection and management phase of the AI development life cycle? A. Using diverse training datasets. B. Monitoring for model drift. C. Conducting ethical assessments. D. Ensuring data diversity to reduce bias. Correct answer. D. Ensuring data diversity to reduce bias. An AI model developed for predicting stock market trends is found to underperform when market volatility is unusually high. Which phase of the AI development life cycle should address the model's ability to handle such anomalies? A. Training and validation. B. Monitoring and maintenance. C. Model design and development. D. Data collection and management. Correct answer. B. Monitoring and maintenance. What is the primary focus of the deployment phase in the AI development life cycle? A. Assessing the AI model's performance against real-world criteria B. 
introducing the AI model into a real-world environment c. Establishing mechanisms for feedback and redress d. Addressing biases in data collection. Correct answer. b. Introducing the AI model into a real-world environment. In the context of the AI development life cycle, ethical considerations are most directly addressed during which phase? a. Problem definition and scoping b. Data collection and management c. Model design and development d. Continuous monitoring and maintenance. Correct answer. a. Problem definition and scoping. A newly deployed AI system for managing traffic lights in a city reduces congestion significantly, but residents raise concerns about increased surveillance. Which phase should ensure that stakeholder engagement and ethical considerations are integrated? A. Problem definition and scoping B. Deployment C. Continuous monitoring and maintenance D. Model design and development. Correct answer. C. Continuous monitoring and maintenance.